Hi friends! Today is giveaway winner day. <laughs> so I have my 1,000 subscriber giveaway bonanza where I showcased so many items and now it's time to draw who won. <laughs> I'm ready to mail this stuff out. I'm I kind of want to keep some of it, but I need it out of my sight, so I'm not thinking about it and wanting to keep it. <laughs> okay, so I decided to turn this into also, what do you want to know about me? So you guys submitted your questions um, via my YouTube community post, and so I will gradually answer all of your questions as I pick winners. <laughs> So kind of a combo deal. You get to know a little bit more about me and you get to see if you want some stuff. <laughs> All right. So let's do our first one, which is hashtag chocolate. Now this one is almost gone out of my shop. I only have a few left. You guys like the lower amounts and it showed. You guys bought this one up so fast. <laughs> So if you are interested in getting one, if you don't win one, there's only a couple left. And I kind of do these as one-time deals, and once they're gone, they're gone. So if you're interested, head to my Etsy shop. But I have two of these to give away. I already preset this to save some time, so let's go. All right, April Budgets, you are winner number one. And let's pick a second one. And the secret budgeter, you won the other one. Yay! So with all of these, I had you guys put the hashtag to which items that you wanted. So let me just write that quick. <laughs> so April Budgets and the Secret Budgeter, you are the winners of my hot chocolate scratch off. Yay! <laughs> One down, a lot to go. <laughs> okay, so while I prep the next one, because I have to adjust the hashtag, see hashtag chocolate was the last one. <laughs> We're going to set this one up for troll which is my next scratch off that is mine. Um, let's answer a question. What is the biggest surprise you've learned from cash stuffing or tracking your expenses? So tracking my expenses has been new. I just started that kind of within the last three, four months. And honestly, it has been probably the most beneficial to me because I like to pretend that we don't spend money and I can budget all I want, but then things will magically, like, my accounts don't line up because <laughs> extra spending occurred that I didn't allocate money for, and it wasn't holding us accountable. Um, so tracking your expenses, although it seems tedious and I didn't want to do it either, has been honestly the most beneficial. <laughs> so now cash stuffing. I love cash stuffing because it allocates money directly to a purpose. So when I pull out cash for groceries, which I don't do cash for every category, but I do for groceries, it makes me stay in my budget. So once our grocery money is gone, we don't swipe our credit card. So then we have to hunt into our cupboards, into our freezer, um, do makeshift meals. We ha it, it holds us so accountable when we only have X amount of money and we don't allow ourselves any wiggle room in there. <laughs> That's what I love about cash stuffing. <laughs> All right, trolls. And this is two winners for my troll one. Isn't it cute? It just reminds me of my childhood. I love trolls. All right, big queen budget. Yay. <laughs> you are winner number one. And let's pick another one. Budgeting by Amy. Woohoo. Okay, you guys are the winners of my troll scratch off. So if you guys win any of these prizes, please reach out to me on Instagram at Golden Girl Budgets or email me at goldengirlbudgets at gmail.com. 
if we have not um, had direct communication before, not a problem. Um, I'll probably have you go back and do so, edit a comment or something like that just to show you are who you are. <laughs> it's sad that we have to do that, but people have been scammed and I'm not naive to that. <laughs> All right. So while I prep the next one, which is my puppy one, so we'll get the last of my scratch offs done and then we'll move on to the next ones. So this is a hundred dollar savings with the cute little puppy taking a bath. Um, the next question is, what is your least favorite part about cash stuffing? <laughs> so this one is kind of a dual purpose. Um, least favorite part when you have a YouTube channel is holding off to cash stuff until you have time to record. <laughs> Which may sound funny, but like sometimes you just get your paychecks and you just want to transfer the things and run to the ATM and just stuff them and be done. If you have a YouTube channel, you can't really do that. So <laughs> I will say that's one of the things that's not my favorite is I have to wait. Um, another thing I don't like about it is when you don't like if you're not seeing certain categories grow faster. Um, sometimes you just don't have a lot of money to allocate to certain things and it can be very, um, defeating to see that so you have a category and you're putting money towards it and you're like, wow, I put money towards it. And then you only watch it and it's like, it's just a little notch down. <laughs> it can be very discouraging. Um, but you got to stick with it. And that's the reason why I do saving challenges is because I want to make it fun to try to save money and pay off debt. Um, I know realistically some people will say, well, don't do savings challenges, just put the money towards debt right away and pay down that principal. But it just depends on what motivates you. <laughs> Holly Day, you get one of my pups. Yay. <laughs> All right, let's do one more. Sorry, I'm trying to like answer questions and do this at the same time. <laughs> Next one, Ashley Budgets. Woohoo! Ashley comments all the time. Um, how did you meet your hubby? Um, I met my hubby uh, at a high school field trip. <laughs> um, he lived in Georgia. His dad was in the military. He was a colonel in the Air Force. And he moved to Minnesota his senior year of high school. And, oh, there it is. Um, and I met him on a high school senior field trip. We went to an arboretum. That's how I met him. <laughs> and the very next day, he showed up at my work and asked me out on a date. And our very first date was actually to downtown Minneapolis to a Indian restaurant. It was my first time ever having Indian, and I loved it. <laughs> Although he tricked me because he, I had never had it before. So he's like, well, you're supposed to eat everything with your hands. And I was like, well, why would they give us silverware if you have to eat everything with your hands? <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. Which, you can eat it with your hands, but we're in the U.S. and you can use some tent utensils. <laughs> All right, next one up is for this kitty one. It's a Hello Kitty um, crayon pouch and savings challenge booklet thing from Champagne's Corner. I think this is so adorable. I'm so glad she finally put herself out there and made her shop. Um, Champagne is honestly the sweetest person and her and I are always in prison together. <laughs> Tanya Wallace. Yay. Uh, okay. Next up is Batman. This is also from Champagne's Corner. But it's Batman themed. It's a pocket that holds the crayons. And then it comes with a savings challenge pouch with three different savings challenges. It's so cute, honestly. Loving my coins, Net. Yay! <laughs> I, okay. She wrote the best, like, comment in here. She, like, intertwined the different hashtags. So Miss Champagne is very clever with her kitty and Batman. So stinking cute. <laughs> I absolutely loved her creativity when she was writing her comment. <laughs> All right, next up is going to be Shut the Box from Renee, Reinventing Renee. I love Renee. 
And she loves me too. She doesn't declare love for anybody, but <laughs> I make her laugh. And if I can make you laugh, then I feel like you love me. <laughs> okay. What is your job? So I actually am an account manager at a marketing company. <laughs> Pretty straightforward. I'm not going to give too much more detail beyond that because I like to keep some privacy in my life. Um, but yeah, it's really fun. I work in consumer products. So stuff you see at the stores. <laughs> and I have a lot of fun with it. So this is for two sets of Shut the Box. It comes with a A5 laminated game inside and the A5 envelope with the vinyl on top <laughs> and ba -ba -da -ba. Michelle Harker yes <laughs> she loves Renee <laughs> as do I um, let's keep going with questions here uh, what are your talents and hobbies so talent that one's a hard one <laughs> <laughs> um, I do sew quilts. Um, I t technically mostly do baby quilts because they're easier, quicker. Um, Yolanda Reese, you won the other shut the box. Yay! <laughs> um, and I do baby quilts for my cousins, friends, etc. Um, so that's like a talent, I guess. I did play the flute in high school. Um, I was in softball and basketball. I was a pitcher, so softball, fast pitch pitcher. I was very talented at the time. I don't think I could do it now, but <laughs> um, hobbies, I love to play board games. Uh, we do that one a lot. I love to watch shows. Um, I love to go for walks outside if walking's a hobby. <laughs> if the snow would ever melt, I could go back out, but... It is holding on, and I am ready for spring. <laughs> Let's see. We got 14. 74. Okay. So next up is going to be my Bigfoot. This is also from Reinventing Renee. And it comes with the scratch-off vinyl A5 envelope, which I think is awesome because you can use it for any scratch-offs. And then it has the Bigfoot challenge inside. And there's going to be two winners for this one. Uh, how did you find your cheers and what did you like about it th those first few times before you became a regular? Okay, so our cheers is a local bar restaurant. And honestly, my husband was in grad school at the time. And it had just kind of opened up. And I was like, hey, on your way home, if you're looking for a snack or something... This place just opened up down the road, and it might be a great option for you to stop in and check out. CW does life. You just won Bigfoot. Yay! <laughs> okay, we'll grab the second one here. Um, what do we like about it? So when you first start going to a place, it's just kind of a vibe. Um, food, drinks, prices. Debt free Jesse, yay! My Minnesota girl. <laughs> I love Jesse. <laughs> I love that this community I'm finding more and more people from Minnesota. And feel free to support Minnesota peeps. <laughs> what do we like about it? Sorry. <laughs> um, next up is gonna be from the organized owl. This is Nita. It's the seven weeks of saving. It's so cute. I'll prep that one. Honestly, the bartenders were super nice. Um, it just, it's hard to explain how a vibe gets you. It's not super loud. I can't do like those big open um, with where the exposed piping and all that stuff is that kind of restaurants are going to these days. I just think it makes it so, I feel old, but like it's hard to hear people. <laughs> I like that it's local, it's not a chain, the place that we go to, it just, I don't know, and the more and more you get to know the people, it it's just one of those places. All right, who's winning my owl? Janelle Ray Budgets, yay, I love Janelle. 
she actually has some items in here for me to give away. <laughs> Let's do my suede A5 binder giveaway. This comes with six um, A5 envelopes. They do not have vinyl on them. I don't do vinyl. So they're just generic, but you can make your own. Um, and oh, it's, it's so cute. <laughs> so while I prep that one, we can knock out a couple of these. What's your favorite drink? So on a normal day to day, I drink diet pop in Minnesota. We call it pop. You guys might call it soda, um, or whatever you call it. <laughs> um, that is my caffeine. I do not like coffee. Um, I can drink tea if it's hot. I don't like cold tea. <laughs> Um, if you're asking about my favorite drink at the bar, my go-to is Captain Diet. <laughs> I love Captain Diet. Um, otherwise red wine. Um, not a huge fan of white wine. I love red wine. Uh, if you want to know what kind of red wine, I love Cab Sab and I love Pinot Noirs. So depending on if I want more fruity or not. Okay. Who's going to win? Hashtag Slade. 71 of you guys were interested. Let me know if you guys like this way of doing it. I thought it was a super fun way for people to kind of put in for the things that they wanted and not just get things. Candy budgets. Woohoo. <laughs> oh, it's so fun to see the names that pop up because these are the names that I see comment all the time. And you guys just make me happy. <laughs> While I prep up the next one, which is going to be the Etsy gift card for $20. It's a digital gift card, so this one allowed international um, people to enter as well. Uh, what's your advice you would give to budgeting YouTubers who are hoping to get monetized? Honestly, <laughs> it depends on what your motives for YouTube are. And I see that as, are you using it to hold yourself accountable, which is how I started. And then once I started going, I was like, you know, I kind of want to, I like gaining subscribers. This is really fun. And then you start to see your numbers tick up and then you get more motivated to hit that thousand mark because it's a lot of work that you're putting in and we get paid zero dollars <laughs> unless you're monetized. And so yes, ultimately you want to be held accountable, but it's super nice if you can make some money doing the thing that holds you accountable, especially for how much work you do. Um, there's no rhyme or reason to like who makes it and who doesn't, but there are certain things that you can do as a budgeter that kind of help you get pushed up a little bit quicker. Um, one of those I would say is just watching other budgeters and commenting. So not just watching, but commenting, engaging. It usually takes me three or four times for me to see you comment on a video for me to be like, hey, this person's really watching a lot and sticking around. I'm going to check them out. If you just do a one and done and then don't go back, it makes it a lot harder to build a relationship with that particular YouTuber. <laughs> um, so I'd say watch, comment, um, engage. If you have time, now don't let YouTube take over your life. <laughs> do not do that. Um, another thing I would say is to be authentic. Um, I can tell when people are trying to be someone that they're not because they think that's what people like on YouTube. So there's times where you'll notice someone that like is trying to adapt different techniques that are used by other YouTubers. And I have no problem with that at all. But do it if it makes a if it makes sense to who you are. <laughs> Say Liz, my, my, I love Liz to pieces. I could never go for my channel and do these little, you know, aerial footages of me gardening. And I couldn't sit down with a cup of coffee and have this quiet tone to me to explain all these life lessons. That is not me. So I could pretend to do that. <laughs> But people are going to know that that's, it's not me. You can tell in people's videos when they're doing things that are authentic to them. So I would say just be yourself. And there's nothing wrong with that. Maria, work in progress. Yay! So you won my $20 Etsy digital gift card. Yes! Please reach out to me, all the winners. Um, what else? Just know that there's lulls. There are so many times that like I have hit a plateau, just like weight loss. 
you'll have a good push where you're like, wow, I'm gaining momentum. And then you get stuck. <laughs> and I've had these times where I've been stuck for a very long time. <laughs> and it just doesn't feel like I'm moving at all. Uh, um, next up we're going to do is the A5 glitter binder. This also comes with six envelopes. Um, A5 zipper top, no vinyl. I don't do vinyl. Hashtag glitter was this one. Um, yeah. Otherwise just be yourself and just hang in there. It's, it can be a long journey and there's really no rhyme or reason why some do it quicker than others. <laughs> and we've all been there. I've had people that have started after me and they got their way before me and there's others that started before me that are still waiting to get there. That is my advice that I can think of at the top of my head. Um, take it for what it is. It's just my personal thoughts at this very moment. <laughs> okay, next we're going to do hashtag glitter winner. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? King Budgeter! Yay! <laughs> so this is Secret Budgeters, the one that does my taco challenge, the taco scratch off. This is her boyfriend. <laughs> So how cool. And he does have a YouTube channel. He doesn't post too often, but it's always fun when I see it. <laughs> All right. Three countries you dream of being able to visit. Um, this one's tough. <laughs> I would love, I, I have a dream to get down to Patagonia. So that's going to be the very, very southern tip of um, Argentina and Chile. And then I want to get to Antarctica, which is a continent, not a country. But if I could hit that little trifecta down there, I, oh my gosh, I'd be, <laughs> I'd be the happiest girl. Um, I just, I want to see icebergs. I want to see um, all the things, penguins, etc. <laughs> Other than that, I do really want to go to Norway. Um, I want to go to Germany. Um... We have it on our list to go to Japan. There's so many countries. Like, I'd love to go to Russia, though I wouldn't go right now. But um, there's just a lot of cool places that I'd like to go. We've been to several countries. Um, so those are just kind of ones that I haven't been to yet. <laughs> All right. This is for Liz and Les's Boggle slash Struggle game. This is for two winners. You get her little logo, which, keep in mind, is super hard to get off the back. But... Um, it comes with three different boards, and you save money based off the number of letters in the words. And this is going to have two winners from my lovely Liz. So winner number one, Mary Love Country Living. Yes, I think she really wanted this one too. I don't. I think I don't know if Liz already sent it to her, but she can have more of them. <laughs> if you are not watching Mary Love, oh my gosh, she is a hoot. <laughs> All right, and I'll pick one more. I desire wealth. <laughs> yes. Okay. We got our two winners for Liz. I love Liz. All right, next question. When did you realize I was your favorite of the Rat Pack, Stacy from Coffee and Budget? <laughs> so the fun thing about this community is that you develop different friendships with different groups of people and so I have like different namings of different text groups <laughs> so Stacy is in one of my groupings that's called the Rat Pack <laughs> um when did I know that I realized that she was my favorite um I don't know if I can call her my favorite because she didn't call me her favorite in her video when I asked <laughs> So shame on her. What I do love about Stacy is that she is confident in who she is, what she likes, what she doesn't like, and she's not afraid to say it. And I love that. I am not that. <laughs> I'm always like, oh, what do I say that like doesn't offend anybody? And I don't ever want to ruffle feathers. She has your back no matter what. <laughs> I think it's so funny. It's like, do you like this? Nope, I'll never use it. Blah, 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 blah. Or... Oh my gosh, she just, oh, I, that's what I love about Stacy. <laughs> and if you're not following Stacy at Coffee and Budget, Budget was sin. Yes. <laughs> All 
All right, so she won one of my Josie. So this is from Josie Saves. It's a scratch off bundle um, of bonus cards to save money. She currently has her shop on Etsy closed. She lost her husband and needs to devote time to her family. But she does have her YouTube channel up and running. So please check her out. Give her some love. She has only 120 some subs, but she had to take a break and I get it. <laughs> All right, and the second winner is Lynette M. Yay! <laughs> Yes. Okay. So you guys won the two Josie bundles. So each of you get one of these. Oh, oy, 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 oy. Okay. Next up, we're going to do my mermaid savings challenge. Yay. I just think these are adorable. She takes VHS covers and makes the um, savings challenge book out of it. And there is a bonus savings challenge in here. <laughs> But it's just a booklet full of scratch-offs. I think it's so cute. All right, well, I set this one up. If you could live in any other state, what would it be? Oh, that is a hard question. My husband and I actually thoroughly thought about moving to Colorado for a while. Um, so that one really could be a contender. I don't like hot weather, so I don't think I would ever move somewhere south. Humid humidity, 80 degree weather is not my thing. <laughs> However, Minnesota is, we, we have a dark period during winter where it's just dark and gray and snowy. And the thing I loved about Colorado is that you still got snow, but they have so many sunny days. And that's what I'm missing is the sunny days. So we really did think about moving there. Nikki Gomez, I love Nikki. So keeping with that, we also have a Mulan one. So same thing, just with a Mulan cover instead of um, the Little Mermaid. I love Mulan. Honestly, it's one of my, it's my second favorite movie. <laughs> it might be my second favorite. I don't know. How do you pick? <laughs> Next question. Do you ever go to Mall of America? <laughs> so Mall of America has been around for quite a while now. Have I been there? Yes. Do I go there often? No. <laughs> Whenever family comes into town, we end up at Mall of America. Um, I did Big Brother, Big Sister program, and my little wanted to go there all the time. So I would frequent there a lot. Um, it's great entertainment for kids because it has a theme park indoors. Um, there's roller coasters, etc., and I love it for walking around. Now, in the wintertime, I don't tend to go there because if weather's bad, driving, etc. Um, there's plenty of parking. I'd say we're busiest in the summers or on spring breaks there. So if you want to go when it's a choir time, which is usually when I go, Rosa King, yes, you get Mulan. She's actually one that submitted a question, some questions on here. <laughs> um we don't have sales tax on clothing. And so a lot of times back to school, neighboring states and countries, Canada, you Canadians come down, um, will come down to the Mall of America to go clothes shopping for their kids because we don't do sales tax. So not on clothes, we do it on everything else, but not on clothes. <laughs> um, I, wish, I wish it would have stayed Camp Snoopy I understand from a marketing standpoint why they switched to Nickelodeon. Um, they used to have a movie theater. They don't have, like, they keep changing things up. So there's things that I used to love that they don't have anymore. Um, but yeah, I've been there. <laughs> All right, should we do, let's do Larry. Because <laughs> I just love this one. This is from Alicia at Hands and Bands. Obviously, I, I opened it. I told her I wouldn't, but I did. <laughs> it's her card challenge. I think it's so adorable. And she sent me one, and I'm just so excited. I can't wait to start it. All right, Larry. Larry. Uh, 11. All right, what is your other question? I know you're saving for a car. Which one is on your wish list? I don't have... Like, I am not a car person. I could care less <laughs> however I want an SUV that I know for sure I've never had one my husband has a truck 
I've always had a little car and the more I drive this truck, the more I'm loving sitting up more. Um, you just get more clearance in the snow. There's just a lot of things to love about it. Um, actual cars, I don't have one in mind. There are certain features. Now, my husband's truck has a backup camera. That is a must. <laughs> my car does not. And I wish it did. <laughs> so this is for Larry. Budgeting by Amy. Woohoo! I think you already won one, so you are lucky. You get two items. <laughs> Congrats, girl. <laughs> I'm not limiting it. You can win multiple times if you get lucky. <laughs> um, I'm also not, I don't like leather seats, so I actually prefer cloth seats. So, like, there's certain things that I am definitely not a fancy person. <laughs> I just, I don't know how else to say that, but... <laughs> All right, next up we'll go is for the creator. Um, I'm saving up for a car, so honestly, it's a $20 digital gift card. This one was good for international as well. And I just have to see what's available at the time. My husband will keep asking me, like, which ones I'm interested in. And I'm like, if I'm not buying for five years, I don't even know what's out there. I will say the Bronco, that new Bronco that came out, I kind of like it. <laughs> just I think it's so cool looking <laughs> now will I like it in five or six years when I go to buy one hopefully my car will last that long we'll see Lynette M <laughs> you just won again too dang all right you get two of them so she gets the $20 for the creator I love for the creator that is where my my girl D versus Dead has her savings challenges. Um, Nixter Budgets on there. Um, Mandy from Clark's on a Budget. There's a bunch of them. My Veronica <laughs> from 40 Plus Life is on there. Just so many goodies. So definitely check it out. Okay. Now we're going to do this big planner from Mo. It's paper by Mo. Um, she included a coin savings envelope. It's undated planner. I'm not going to pull it out again, but... It gives you five paycheck breakdowns. Super cool. <laughs> so while I set up hashtag Mo, we will answer more questions. What is your favorite challenge to do? My favorite challenge types to do. Um, I love scratch offs. Obsessed. <laughs> you guys know this. Um, I also love anything that's game themed. So shut the box. Totally love that one. Uh, my new Mall Madness game that I just got from the Thrifty Sewist Wendy. So now this is not a giveaway item, but I am obsessed. Like anything board game related, I love it. <laughs> so you pretty much can get me at games and scratch offs. Those are probably my go-tos. Um, I'm excited for these new sticker challenges so it's less coloring and like Liz and Les is doing, I got the ones from Hands and Bands Alicia, where it's the scenery. So I'm super excited to try those too. <laughs> All right, who's getting the planner? Who's getting the planner? Louise! <laughs> oh, how exciting. All right, congrats, Louise. She comments a lot too. It's just so fun to see like I said before, the people that comment a lot. Uh, let's do my Janelle Ray Budgets one next. This is her monthly affirmation scratch out book, and there's two of them. And what question will we answer while we set that one up? Can you please do a live with your favorite budgeting pals? <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> I'm not quite ready to like do a face thing. <laughs> But I think it was D versus Death that said, like, she should do, like, the masked budgeter where we all wear masks. <laughs> Maybe then I could. I mean, it's not like my picture's not out there. It's on Instagram. You can go see it if you check out my channel. Um, but I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm a behind-the-scenes person. You know my hands. <laughs> Would I love to do... Like, some sort of a chat with my friends? Absolutely. And maybe I'll get there. <laughs> but I still got to warm up to the idea. 
All right, so this is from Janelle Ray Budgets. I think I already showed you, but it's an affirmation savings challenge book. So cute. I love Janelle. She has so many cute things in her shop. She's just honestly the sweetest person. She has a good heart. She's a good person. Um, let's go. Winner number one, Ivy. Yay. Do you like Lefsa? I do. <laughs> so my grandma is Norwegian. And every year at Christmas time, she brings homemade Lefsa. Um, however, I have celiac. I was diagnosed with celiac disease um, nine years ago. <laughs> Tanya Wallace, you get the other one. Yes. Okay. Um, so I can no longer have it. However, maybe I can find a gluten-free version, but I, I do love it. <laughs> My husband still eats it because he can. So I tell him to eat it for me. <laughs> But yes, I love that you asked that because Lefsa. <laughs> and you have to put bread, um, butter on it and I think some sugar. And then you roll it up. That's how we eat it. Oh, okay, next one we will do. Well, let's do this one. So this is from Jen from Budget Determined. It's the little box set of envelopes, 25 envelopes. And honestly, these are the most gorgeous envelopes. And I know I haven't showed everyone stuff, but like... I can't get over how pretty. It's navy blue and rose gold, and they're just so pretty. I just, <laughs> this is one where, like, I need it out of my house because I want it so bad to keep it and not give it to you guys. <laughs> like, the pressure is strong on that one. <laughs> What's your favorite food? Um, tacos. <laughs> I am obsessed with tacos. I have my taco buddy here <laughs> from Busy Lizzie Budgets. <laughs> uh, why did you start budgeting? I started budgeting because I got tired of the cycle of, like, we income-wise should make enough money that we have a good life. <laughs> However, we would spend it nonchalantly so much that, like, we didn't really have savings. And we've had multiple, like, layoff scenarios. Rachel, go perish! Yes, you get this one. I love this one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, and it's just whenever we hit a layoff and you look at your savings and you're like, we are not prepared for this. And it just hits you really hard. So I am so grateful that I found budgeting. I absolutely love it. Um, it just, I feel like I have more money from budgeting than I ever did before, even though I could spend before however much I wanted on things. Because I didn't care. I didn't feel as free. If that makes sense. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Let's do Salisa. This is the Scratch and Save Challenge book. This one I am doing to save up for um, stuff for our land. So trailer, ATV, um, pole barn, etc. I absolutely love this book. What's your favorite show you stream? Oh, honestly... I love documentaries, so if there's ever a crime documentary that pops up that's new on either Netflix or Hulu, I usually watch those. <laughs> um, 17, and anything like based off of a true story, I'm a sucker for those, and game shows. I will watch almost any game show. I may not continue to watch it if it's horrible, but I will give any game show a shot. <laughs> Um, lately, my husband and I together have been watching like a lot of British panel shows, and those are pretty funny. I love anything that's like a mini series where it's like six episodes. I I just like that kind of stuff. Uh, do you have a name picked out for your next pup? <laughs> so let's draw this Lisa winner, and then I'll answer that one. Ba -ba -da -ba. Who do we got? Ivy. <laughs> Congrats, Ivy Hartsfield. Yay! <laughs> you, There's a couple of you that are pretty lucky, and you've gotten a, a few of them, which honestly, it helps with my shipping, because <laughs> I only have to send it to one address. So I thank you for that, but I'm sure some of you guys are like, no. <laughs> All right, names picked out for our next pup. So we almost got puppies last summer. 
we were like this close but we honestly we know how much money goes into them we treat them like our babies so we decided to wait but we had tossed around the names Otto and Frank so Frank and Otto because <laughs> we want two boys um which is what we had so our last ones were Rufus and Ollie and now we want Frank and Otto I don't know <laughs> whether that'll be my next future puppy's names we'll see but would you ever move away from Minnesota yeah I would um, I, I would move away, but I wouldn't doubt that somehow I would come back to Minnesota or have some sort of a place here to stay. I'm really tempted to like get a, just a cheap condo somewhere and just always have roots here and then be able to trap travel places. Um, I just, once I retire, I, my goal is to have enough that I can like go and do things and have fun and, um, but we'll see. It all depends on money, right? <laughs> oh, hence budgeting now and trying to like get ahead of things. All right. The last one, but not least, is my hashtag Gina. And this was for that gorgeous blue ombre set. I'm not going to take everything out because it's so beautifully packaged. She put in some socks. She put in some candy. She threw in some, a pen, I believe, a marker. Um, it's just gorgeous. It's an envelope set in a box. I absolutely love it. It's another item I wanted to steal for myself, <laughs> but I didn't. So you're welcome. <laughs> just not have it in here. And you guys be like, what happened to that one item? Like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, next question. Why don't you ever talk about Harry Potter? <laughs> <laughs> this is from Katie of the House, who's obsessed with Harry Potter. Um, I I like Harry Potter. I never read the books. I only watched the movies. But I'm not obsessed with it. I actually like Lord of the Rings better. <laughs> um, but I do like Harry Potter. I did enjoy all the movies. Um, it's just not a session of mine. Nothing wrong with that. Pick the winner. Boop, boop, boop. Here to their journey. Oh my gosh, she's going to love this. <laughs> this is Rebecca. Here to their journey. How exciting. Oh my gosh. Okay. You're going to love this. <laughs> oh, okay. So anyone that won, please reach out to me on Instagram at Golden Girl Budgets or email goldengirlbudgets at gmail.com and we'll get these sent out to you and let me finish these questions up and then we'll call it a day <laughs> uh, if you could only have one superpower what would it be it would be to teleport I have family that lives all over the U.S. and I'd love to just be there in an instant and not have to book a flight <laughs> uh, what's your favorite animal um dogs <laughs> obviously uh, why are you so nice to me? Katie of the house. Oh my gosh. I love Katie. She's just the sweetest person. I love watching her videos when she talks all nerdy with her spreadsheets. Um, <laughs> I just love watching her. I could listen to Katie all day long. <laughs> Favorite dessert. I'm going to go cheesecake. I'm not a big chocolate person. And oh, I also love like funfetti cake, any white cake pretty much like a vanilla based um creme uh creme brulee love it what do you like better pepsi or coke really doesn't matter to me um as long as it's diet so i would lean towards diet coke but if i had a try with budgeting i buy whatever's on sale so my husband will laugh because i'll be like you bought diet pepsi and i'm like it was cheaper <laughs> that's where i'm at with life whatever's cheaper but i do like if i had a choice i would pick diet coke hard or soft shell tacos hard um, I can only have corn. I can't have flour t tortillas. If I could have flour, I'd probably pick soft shell, but I'm going to go hard. Pancakes or waffles? I honestly haven't had a waffle in years. I'm going to go with pancakes. Uh, does pineapple belong on a pizza? No. <laughs> and I don't say this as someone who, like, just doesn't believe it belongs on pizza. I don't like pineapple. <laughs> it is not my favorite fruit. <laughs> favorite color blue yeah hobbies already answered we are done Whew. yes <laughs> if you submitted questions after i already recorded this my apologies um if you want to reach out to me and you really want to know i can answer you but 
All the questions answered. You got to know me a little bit better. All the winners declared. Oh, my 1K giveaway is now officially done. Thank you, everyone. It is honestly, I'm humbled and grateful for everyone. And I truly appreciate all of you that have followed me and supported me and gotten me to this point. And that's all. Love you.